everyone, it's Sarah here with The Craft Corner. I'm back with another tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this adorable little uh, coffee cup holder. I think it would be so cute to have in your kitchen or maybe for a coffee bar. So if you're interested in how I made this, keep on watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials like this one, and let me know what you'd like to see me do next. First I cut three pieces of pallet wood the same length, I sanded any rough edges, and then I'm gluing some smaller pieces of wood to the back to hold it together. I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue for this. Please forgive the camera angle, I still need to get a tripod so I had a little bit of trouble getting everything in the frame, but hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. At this point, I've let the glue dry overnight and I'm just flipping it over to apply a coat of stain. This part is optional. I decided to do it just because the wood is so light and new looking. I just wanted this to have a more rustic, older feel. I like the darker wood showing through the paint a little bit. This color is dark walnut. You can choose any color that you like. Um, this is just something that I had on hand, um, so that's what I'm using. I recommend using gloves for this because the stain can be pretty difficult to clean off your hands. I'm using a blue paper towel from the automotive section of Walmart. I prefer using these over a cloth because I can just throw them away when I'm finished and not have to do any messy cleanup. They're thick enough that they don't leave any little fibers behind. Now we just wait for it to dry overnight. Next, I'm applying a coat of this Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint in the color Sheepskin. I picked this up at Michael's, but you can get lots of colors at Walmart as well. I'm just doing light strokes with my brush with more paint towards the middle and then dry brushing towards the edges to get that rustic feel. As you can see, we still have some of that stain showing through. I picked up this stencil from Michaels and I'm just using a pencil to write the word coffee. Of course if you're not a fan of coffee you could always do tea or hot cocoa or you could just leave it plain. I'd like to do a bigger one that says my cup runneth over from the bible verse. I think that would be really cute. I didn't really care about this looking perfect so I just tried to line the letters up as best I could. Um, they didn't come out perfectly even but for me that's okay. I think it gives it more of a rustic feel. Um, and a little bit more handmade. I prefer tracing the letters first and then filling them in as opposed to just uh, blotting the paint on top of the stencil because I feel it tends to bleed more underneath doing it that way. Next, I'm using my black Posca paint pen to outline the letters. You could just fill them in as is. I just find it easier to see the lines with the paint pen. Of course, you could use a black Sharpie or anything that you have on hand. I just prefer the paint pens. I'm filling in the letters with a small angled brush using the Apple Barrel Matte Black Acrylic Paint from Walmart.
I apologize I lost some of this clip. What I did here was just screw in these small hooks I got from Walmart with my drill. They came six in a pack for I believe around six dollars. Before doing this, I did add some hanging hardware to the back. You do want to make sure that you do two hooks level across the back as opposed to one in the middle because the weight will shift if you take the mugs on and off. Here is the finished product. If you like this video, don't forget to like my Facebook page. I have linked down in the description below. And don't forget to tell me what you'd like to see me do next. Thanks for watching. Bye.